For the first time tonight, we are hearing from Isaiah Trammell's father and the family's attorney. Now, earlier this week, we showed you this video here, which is very disturbing. This is from the inside of the Montgomery County Jail, and it's the incident to what led up to 19-year-old Isaiah Trammell's death. Now, Jenna Lee Bork has been following this all week long. What can you tell us about who Isaiah was? Yeah, Adam and Elise, Isaiah's dad tells me he was a sports fanatic and loved doing things outside with his family, like hiking and four-wheeling. Kelsey Trammell says his son had a big family who loved him and miss him very much. There's one quality about Isaiah his father wants to make sure people know. Biggest thing about Isaiah was he was compassionate for everyone and only wanted to make the world better. 19-year-old Isaiah Trammell's life was cut short after an incident that happened inside the Montgomery County Jail in 2023. He was taken into custody on a misdemeanor warrant for domestic violence and was awaiting trial. Isaiah had autism and was visibly in a severe emotional state, his injuries ultimately leading to his death. Now, his father, Kelsey Trammell, is speaking out publicly so people can understand who he was. One of his goals and dreams when he was younger was to build a homeless shelter and, and help those that were in need that couldn't help themselves. Kelsey tells me he was so proud to see his son live on his own and hold down a job despite having autism. He also described how hard it was to find out Isaiah had been transferred to the hospital. Once I got to Miami Valley, he was already on life support. And I sat there with him for three days. until his last breath. It's the worst feeling in the world. The Trammell family now has an attorney and they're looking into taking legal action. A partner at the law firm says the family is committed to making sure this doesn't happen to anyone else and shared her legal opinion about what happened to Isaiah. The way that this jail and these corrections officers treated Isaiah is it's beyond the pale. It showed such a callous indifference to his well-being. I asked Jel Semino how big of a problem this type of treatment is in Ohio Correctional Facilities. She says some jails are worse than others. I am so sorry to report that this is a really serious problem in Ohio's jails and prisons. We, something like what happened to Isaiah does not happen in a vacuum. You know, that kind of... Um, Disregard for the safety and security of a person in their custody is done because of a culture of impunity. A spokesperson from the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office gave us a statement yesterday saying in part that Isaiah's death was a tragedy. It also says he was provided medical and mental health treatment while in jail and the Ohio Bureau of Adult Detention has reviewed the incident and didn't find any deficiencies. I received a statement today from a representative for Montgomery County saying the commissioners have allocated $20 million to the jail to add 100 additional beds for behavior health treatment. We will continue to follow this story as it evolves and bring you any updates here on air and online at Dayton247now.com. Back to you in studio.